Let, let's to take you to Anfield, Liverpool. Mm. Sneaky good start to the season, my friend. <laughs> 16 points, yeah. sitting second behind Manchester City. Uh, we just did the low down and asked Lady Low, uh, you know, if, if Man City are not going to win their fourth straight title and defend it again this time around, which is the team most likely to knock them off? And she said, I know it's a bit mm. early and I don't want to go full on, but she said, I've probably got to say Liverpool right mm. now. Um, mm. I'm not sure if Jurgen mm. Kl- w- mm. whether Jurgen Klopp will, will want those kind of, of comments or he's happy just to stay sneaky under the radar at the moment, keep going, but... Yeah. I think we've talked about this team, Rob. <clears throat> if they can get that defensive structure better, the front line is going to score goals. They can rotate in and out, and, and they stretch them all over. Darwin Nunez scored against mm. Newcastle Cup. Well, he got one again to, mm. today. Um, is there a sense? I, I mean, it was interesting, the Europa League, Rob, because I watched this game midweek uh, for Liverpool, and it was a bit of a struggle. Uh, he rotated, he changed many players, mm. he rested a load. It was a bit of a struggle mm. for, for a while. They had to get one or two of the big boys on to see it off. Could that be the thing mm. that slightly upsets them? That, that, you know, I was pleased that he kind of went, this is Europa League team at the moment. We might have a different look yeah. in the Premier League. If he can continue to do that, I think they'd be OK. I'm not sure he can do Thursday nights and Sundays, Rob, and keep that level of performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. And, and I think Liverpool are a, a club with stature that that will prioritise a Premier League and, and yeah. it is an opportunity to play some of the other players. And I'm sure Jurgen Klopp, given their squad and the club and everything else, will think they, they should have a good chance of winning the Europa League. Yeah. But... You know, I think I think they are they are going to make a run for it in the Premier League. I think it's a really good sign where we're at right now. Um, I looked at the front three, Rob, and, and Mo Salah, Darwin Nunez, and Luis Diaz. Mm. That that's for me. That's got to be it. That's got to be the main three. And of course, we know that Gakpo and, and Jota, Jota yeah. came on and scored a goal. Mm. We'll we'll rotate in and around those three. But if those three can find form at the same time and stay fit. Yeah. Obviously, we know about the front three of past Liverpools that were so dominant and mm. so brilliant for them for for week after week after week. They kind of need that again. And I think Darwin Nunez, lovely goal, wasn't it? The little ball yeah, over from McAllister, just, chips over the top. Right, he finished yeah. it really nicely. Um, Mo Salah with a penalty. Luis Diaz mm. well on the left-hand side. That's the future of the club. Yeah. And I don't know, you know, again, I know Trent's out right now with an injury. Yeah. Joe Gomez playing at right back. It kind of, it kind of nullifies the, the issue of conceding goals in that area, Rob, doesn't it? Yeah, Joe Gomez is more of a natural isn't defender. He? Yeah. He's not going to make those passes, mm. but it, it, it's maybe making them more st- um, structurally sound defensively. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're quietly going on their business and I see Jurgen Klopp at the end of the game, Rob, watching all the highlights <laughs> and stuff, yeah. you know, fired up, punching, you know, as he, as he does at Anfield. And yeah, um, yeah they're, they're looking good. I mean, I, I guess the only thing, Rob, and I'll throw it back to you on this one, is still, we're still seeing... Alexis McAllister players in number six and yeah. Endo, yeah. you know, the Japanese player that came in. Yeah. He played midweek, didn't he? I think, he I think Endo started this game. Mid- midweek, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, I think he started in, in the so Europa, So th- that, yeah. that still mm, doesn't isn't quite feel ideal. Right. And I know that Moises Caicedo would have been so blimmin' perfect for them to get him as a holding player. But, I mean, maybe McAllister, Rob, will do that all season. Do you think yeah. he'll do number six all season? And, um, and is that going to be OK for them to, to, to stay at the top? It seems to look that way at the moment, Rob. I think you can trust him with the ball. Um, he, he, he happy to receive it when he's marked. He's got you know good technical ability to get himself out of trouble. It's just probably that you're not getting the best of him. And if you could find somebody who could anchor there, yeah. is this Graben Birch? Is, could yeah. he be the guy, Rob? I know he, people think he's a bit more of an eight with legs and he can yeah. make things happen. Yeah. I just wonder if he, if he could mm. try and convert mm. him, you know, to a, be a bit more, you know, Rodri-esque, let's say. He can, can play a little bit, but he's got yeah. good size and physicality to get across the pitch. You know, he's a young player, lots of talent. I'm mm. wondering if maybe Klopp's thinking he can mould him into that type of player. Mm, I, 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 I would be surprised. Yeah. I would be surprised, Rob, and, yeah. and maybe it's better to keep Gravenberg as a, as a number eight mm. and play him you know, and, and continue with McAllister as the, yeah. and then the, the, the three of them could find some rhythm and some balance together. That that could be really, really good. And Curtis Jones is yeah, obviously, you know, still a very good yeah. player. Harvey yeah. Elliott as well to come in as well. So there's options in there as well. And yeah. I don't know. I just think that, you know, again, this is on at the same time. So you can't yeah, we closely look it, yeah. at the finer details of the mm. game. But, you know, that front three is, is 
if, if, you know, particularly Darwin Nunes, Rob, that, you know, we're, we're all expecting at some point to yeah. really start to score regularly every single week, you know, and um, maybe Liverpool fans have been frustrated with that in the past, but I, I still like him. I still yeah. like him of making chances, running in behind. He got his goal yeah. and it's a great win for Liverpool and they're cruising, absolutely yeah. cruising. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.